Hey everyone, this is Cubastic and today I have prepared for you three incredibly cool puzzles. Each of them looks really simple, but many people can't solve them. But if you look carefully at my desk, you will see only two puzzles. And where is the third one, you ask me? Attention, the third one is printing out with a 3D printer right now. You begged me to show the whole process of 3D printing, so I decided to take a trouble and drag this monster with me right into our studio. And the third puzzle looks really impressive. The first part of it is uh, this kind of a box with a lid. There is a small hole in the lid, uh, it has a form of a letter T. The difficulty of this puzzle lies in the fact that uh, we have to fit all six such letters, which are not so small, into this little box. The first puzzle is awesome. It consists only of uh, four parts, and the task is more or less simple. We need to make smooth and precise letter T out of uh, these uh, details. This is one of my favorite puzzles, because every time I begged somebody to solve it, nobody could do it. Although it is incredibly simple, now I will reveal the secret of this puzzle and similar ones. The thing is, uh, when somebody gets a task together letter T, he tries to imagine a letter T which consists of two perpendicular rectangles. But as you can see, we have got imperfect letter T, it seems like some details is missing. And no matter how we change the details uh, position, we can't achieve a perfect smooth letter T. The problem is uh, that we imagine a letter T like made of uh, two perpendicular rectangles, and we usually try to gather it this way. But to solve this puzzle, we need to think a bit unconventionally and place one of these details diagonally. You may ask where I saw the diagonal lines in the letter T, but actually if we put here remaining details, we will see how the letter T is starting to appear. And in the end, we will get a perfect letter. Now you know the secret of the most famous and one of my favorite puzzles. Next we have two more, they are much more complex and by the way, one of them is almost printed out. The first part is already printed, let's start to print these little T's. I think that right now it's time to hit the like button, because I really took the trouble and 3D printed a puzzle for you just while filming this video. I'm holding it for the first time in my life, I've never sold it before and it turns out that uh, the third puzzle looks like such a parallelepiped. We will glue the lid to it and uh, get this kind of a box with a restricted uh, entrance. And then we have to print out the letters. The printing is coming to an end, a few minutes remain, uh, this means that it is time to solve the second puzzle. Uh, it consists of this orange frame, very nice, and uh, these are the black letters T. As you can see, today we have all these puzzles made up of the letters T, and our job is to put these letters inside the frame. The width of this frame is equal to two letters T. The most interesting thing is uh, that there are several ways to solve this task. There are even several ways uh, to make it more difficult. Here I don't think it is clear that uh, this puzzle is easy or complex. It is likely to be easy, because uh, quite a lot of free space is formed uh, between the letters to put at least uh, one more. Knowing how to solve such puzzles, you want to immediately try to do something symmetrical to put uh, these letters somehow in a circle. Most often, if you want to place the same elements in a square frame, then you need to do it symmetrically. So, for example, we're going to put these two letters here symmetrically. There's going to be a lot of free space here. Third and uh, fourth are getting here easily. These letters are arranged perfectly and symmetrically. By the way, this is not the only correct solution. You could also put uh, these uh, things diagonally then we would have a space inside for uh, this cross. Thus, it is possible to complicate the solution of this puzzle. Let's try to find at least one more solution. I'll put the details diagonally, because normally the parts with the right angles want to be inserted somewhere in a corner or parallel or perpendicular to some of the planes, but many puzzles are solved diagonally. Look, I've put two letters T diagonally and there's a lot of free space left. 
I think if I make exactly the same drawing uh, out of these letters, they will fit in here. All you have to do is uh, mirror it. This T comes in here and this is the place for the last T. Ok, it's done. So, the T's are arranged diagonally, like I said. Ok, let's try to complicate this puzzle. To do this, I printed this impediment in the form of a square. It takes up quite a lot of space, and our job is to put all the letters T in a frame together with this square. So, here we need to make a big space for the square, because as you can see, it takes up quite a lot of space. We can insert the letter T like this, like this, and there is not enough space for the last letter, but I probably know what the solution will be. I was already close to that option. I will place the letters T in the same way while rotating the square. Here, we turn the square, insert letter T, turn the square, insert the letter T, everything fit, and here is room just for our square. This puzzle is incredibly popular, it's much easier than the previous, believe me, much easier. But the difficulty is that there are several possible solutions and we need to find them all. And now, just a couple of seconds left. 3, 2, 1... <laughs> Printer finished printing, just look at this miracle, are you ready to see it? Cool! Haha! <laughs> awesome! So, in general, the puzzle is almost ready. The lid is already glued to its place and we need to put all these letters inside this box. As you can see, I'm holding this puzzle for the first time in my life and now I'm going to try to solve it. I even start the timer because I want to solve it as quickly as possible. Write in the comments how much time it will take me. So. One letter T is really easy to put here. The other one, two. The third one is also placed. And the fourth is uh, the last one. We can't fit more than four letters in this hole. But we need to somehow put two more. You have to change the position of the letters somehow. For example, I want to put the last letter upside down. It's not that easy to put it upside down because the hole limits our movement. I'll try to put one of these letters upside down. Hmm, by the way, it worked. And now these holes fit the letters T. Oh, but I have little space to put them here. Hmm, there's one idea of how to do that. Folks, in one of the next videos I will show you 8 incredibly beautiful modifications of 3x3 Rubik's Cubes. Transparent, glass, convex, carbon, marble and so forth. Don't miss out. I want to try to get everything out of there first and I'm going to try to place uh, the T letters closer to the edge. I can insert it here and it will fold down, so the letter will be closer to the edge. Next, second, third. This is another additional way to insert the letters here. Now I can actually put uh, the T in here, but again I'm limited by the top lid. In fact, if two letters T were placed here and the last uh, got here, the puzzle would be solved. So I'll try... Uh, I will try to show you this visually. We put three in uh, this way. And now, to put uh, the other three, we have to put forth here. And uh, the only place we can put uh, the last two letters is uh, here on one side and on the other here. Let's see if this arrangement fits uh, the shape of our box. Two here and one here. So, uh, the height uh, fits and uh, the width fits too. Now you have to think about how to put it all in here, but that's a problem. If we put at least uh, one in the upright position, the side ones will not fit in there. What if we try to do it 
upside down. We will have to put uh, the first letter like this, flat. Flat, and we should put uh, two letters uh, like this, vertically. Alright, I got it secret, just look. If we put uh, the next letter vertically, but uh, not upside down, but in a normal position, then the area of contact is much smaller than here, three times smaller. And there is still room for it to fall down, so we put it vertically in the usual position. Put it here, and we have a lot of space for attention. For one letter T, the second, and the last, the third one. So it turned out that I solved this puzzle in 5 minutes 15 seconds. This puzzle seemed to me much more complicated, but as you can see I solved it quite quickly. I don't know about you guys, but I really loved that video. If you like such videos, if you like puzzles, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Go to the channel and watch my other videos and I will see you very soon. And be sure to write in the comments what you would like me to print out with 3D printer and show you. Thank you all for watching, that was Cubastic, bye everyone and have a good time! Bow. Folks, support our channel and watch my other videos that will now appear on your screen.